Hello, my name is Emma Tobias and welcome to Booktubeathon 2K17. It just hit midnight. I'm sitting here in my bed. I'm ready to read. I'm ready to tubeathon, to readathon. I've also decided in this moment that I'm going to daily vlog. Uh, last year I just did the challenge videos. Or I didn't just do the challenge videos. I did the challenge videos. I enjoyed that, but I don't really have a lot of time to do like make like challenge videos the way that I know that I'd want to make them. So instead I've decided to just daily vlog and maybe occasionally do challenge videos. I think this is going to be sort of a mess. I don't think anyone's going to care. Um, but it's going to be a real exercise in creativity and exercise in narcissism, which is really what I'm all about and what this channel is all about. So anyway, getting to the actual, you know, the book part of this vlog, I am going to start reading Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. So I will update you soon. 45 minutes into book two-a-thon and my hair is puffy AF um, but I have read 30 pages of Year of Yes and I'm really really enjoying it. I think I'm gonna be able to breeze through this tomorrow. I'm a graduate student so I don't have like a lot of time to read um, for a big chunk of the day. I have a really long class but I will make time. Um, I have the whole morning and the whole night and yeah, and I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully my hair, well not tomorrow, I'll see you later today when I'm more of a person and when my hair is more of, of a hair-like thing. What? I don't know, guys. It's so late. It's only like 12.45. Thank God. Blah. First day of Booktubeathon. My room is a mess and I'm dressed like some sort of like witch. Like a, like a, a background dancer in a lord video. So yeah. So, guys, I am failing on Booktubeathon day one. I have only read 50 pages of the Year of Yes because for most of the day I was doing this. Cool clips, right? Um, I am now waiting to be picked up because I'm going to a birthday party um, and I don't know when I'll be back. Probably later this evening, probably more like 11. So I probably will not have time to read today, um, and then tomorrow morning I have to study for an exam, so I think I'm going to try to carve out a big chunk of tomorrow evening to read, um, and just try to plow through a couple books and try to finish Year of Yes tomorrow and maybe a graphic novel. But we shall see. I will update y'all. That's really awkward. What am I doing? <laughs> It is about 7 a.m. on Booktubeathon day two. I am eating like an adult, um, and I am still reading Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. I really want to finish this today. Um, and I also this morning started Ghost World, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Um, I don't. It's already very off-putting for me, and not in a way that's like uh, kind of. Like, oh, I see the point and why this is off-putting. It's just kind of off-putting. So I don't think I'm going to read this, um, but I didn't get very far into it. But more on that later. Book two with on day two looks. This is what I'm calling an extra in Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. So all this out of here. Oh my god, dude. I saw this, um... Hello, so it's now about 7 p.m. I last updated you guys with my face at 7 a.m. So it's been a while. Um, I've had a very long day. Um, I'm now laying on my floor like a grown-up does. Um, yeah, I had a test today. I made some stuff in class. Um, I called my representatives about the health care bill, um, which is something I encourage you all to do if you're Americans or if you're not Americans, just encourage your government to, you know, represent you well, or represent you in the way you'd like to be representative, represented. Um, so yeah, so I am now a little bit half over halfway through of Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. I kind of want to read something else, um, because... I just do. 
I want to finish this definitely um, throughout the week. I really, really like it. It's It feeds your soul. And after like all the stuff today with the healthcare bill and how it went down, it was nice to read something about empowerment and about the things that you can do in your life to make your life better and to make the lives around the people, the people's lives around you better, which is something I needed to read. And anyway, so surprise, surprise, I don't want to read anything on my TBR anymore, so I'm gonna scurry around and find something else to read. I might take a shower and have some food and wake up a little bit so I can read um, this evening some more. Okay, yay. Does anyone else like to listen to Spotify stations or Pandora stations of like classical music or movie soundtracks while they read? Um, I'm personally partial to Rachel Portman, who's a film composer, who's, you know, done, done music for a lot of films that are just sort of indie or low-key budget films, like films that you won't recognize immediately when you hear the music, but you're listening to that Spotify station, and then randomly the Council of Elrond from Lord of the Rings comes on, and you're like, well, okay, this definitely has taken me out of the experience of reading The Prime of Miss Jean Brody, so probably my own fault, but also I'm reading, I'm going to try to read The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. I'm only on page one when the song came on, so. Book two was on day three and I'm like some sort of like character in a children's novel. <laughs> I don't know, I'm running out of things to say. I'm trying to complete my read a book outside challenge, but this is the sky currently. Um, context, it is about 90 degrees outside. The humidity level is like 70%. It's something insane. It's like walking through water. It is so humid. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to complete that today. I'm still reading Prime of the Machine Brody by Mural Spark. I probably should have turned the camera towards me, but I don't really want to because I feel gross. So I'll see y'all later. home from school from grad school stuff um it's about 4 30 i'm in my i'm in my comfy clothes um and i'm gonna try to finish a book tonight since it's day three and i still haven't finished a book um so i am about halfway through year of yes by shonda rhimes and i'm about 50 pages into the prime of miss Jean brody by muriel spark which i'm really enjoying so far it's really weird and not what i was expecting but i kind of like it like like, I'm, I'm happily surprised, if you will. So we shall see what happens. So it is now about 7.30 on Booktubeathon day three. I'm outside. It's lovely outside. Um, yeah. Uh, and I, I guess this kind of halfway completes the read a book outside challenge. Um, I am currently reading both Year of Yes, I've already talked about this Year of Yes, and The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. I've actually done quite a bit of reading. Um, I'm now about 92 pages into The Prime of Machine Brody, and it's only 130 pages, so I definitely think I can finish this in the next hour. All the bar dogs are barking in the neighborhood. Um, and then I only have about 50-ish pages of Year of Yes, so I think I could probably finish both of those books today, depending on how tired I am. Tomorrow I definitely want to read something a little like more fast-paced, because this is a book from 1962. It's not that it isn't fast-paced, but it is a little, like, there's not a lot happening in this book, which I enjoy. Um, and then Year of Yes is nonfiction. Um, fun nonfiction, but it is nonfiction. So I think I want to read something with, like, a fun, fast story. So we'll see. We'll see. Can we just um, appreciate for a moment how gorgeous it is outside? There's hummingbirds flying around. And compared to this morning when it was so humid, I thought I was going to faint. It is stupid pretty outside. So yay! Yay! Excuse my wet hair. I really hate having wet hair, but I took a shower. And guys, I just finished my first book for Booktubeathon day three at about nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock right now-ish. Um, and that is... The Prime of Miss Jean Brody by Muriel Spark. I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, it was super weird and sad and of its time and not of its time. 
and I have so many thoughts about it and I will definitely talk about it in a wrap-up video or whatever I decide to do like a wrap-up video but I really enjoyed it so now I'm going to read more of Year of Yes I think or I'm gonna pick something else up I haven't decided yet <laughs> It's Booktubeathon day four. This is the I had to get up early so I threw on clothes look. It is Booktubeathon day four. It is about 10 o'clock. I'm outside right now reading by some water, a pond at my, on my campus of my grad school. And I am currently on page 30 of Sweet Bitter, and I'm really enjoying it, so more on that later. It is now about 9 o'clock on Booktubeathon day 4. I have read about 60 pages of Sweet Bitter, and I'm still halfway through Year of Yes, or a little over halfway through Year of Yes. Um, I've changed my goal in my head for Booktubeathon to finish three books. I've finished one, maybe four, because um, I want to try to read Persepolis, and that's just a graphic novel. Or not just a graphic novel, but obviously a graphic novel, it takes less time to read than a regular novel. So, um, yeah, so that's my new plan. I can't really read anymore tonight because I'm working on a project. Um, but other than that, I'm excited. I'm going thrift store shopping tomorrow and then going to a metal concert, like a, like a... Because I have decided, per Shonda Rhimes's advice, to start saying yes to things that are kind of weird. And a friend of mine invited me, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll go. But in between everything, like tomorrow morning and stuff, I'm going to try to make some headway with reading. Today's look for Booktubeathon Day 5 is overalls, once again. Because all I wear is overalls. Hello everyone, it is Booktubeathon Day 5. Um, and I have not finished any more books. I'm still about 100 pages into Sweet Bitter, or I'm now 100 pages into Sweet Bitter. My arm hurts, good lord. 100 pages into Sweet Bitter and still halfway through Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. I feel like this video is kind of unsatisfying because I have not finished that many books, or I've only finished one book. Not saying that's good or bad, just saying that, I don't know, when I watch readathon vlogs, I think it's kind of satisfying. <laughs> When the person um, finishes lots of books, that's okay. I've had kind of a, a weird week, a lot going on in grad school, and then my brain has been in the garbage can, um, meaning that my OCD has been really, really bad this week, and my mental health hasn't been good this week, mostly related to the healthcare bill and all of that. And every time that I feel like I can come out of one of those thought cycles, one of those thought tornadoes, one of those obsessive, ridiculous, insane, just yucky, bad places. Um, I want to contact my representatives. I want to make infographics. I want to do something productive. Not saying that the way that I cope is better than maybe the way that you cope, or not saying that if you've thrown yourself into the readathon, you are less than me. I think everyone finds their own ways of dealing and their own ways of living, and that's totally fine. But that's the way, that's just how I am able to cope. Um, so reading has become kind of a third priority this week. Um, but yeah, I mean, luckily last night the skinny repeal did not pass, which was really great news and I cried for like a full hour. I know this is getting like really personal, but this is a readathon vlog about my book two-a-thon experience and my book two-a-thon experience has been marred by my mental health this week and by the news and what's going on. So I think it's important or I at least want to address it. Anyway, I hope to finish at least one more book by the end of book two-a-thon, maybe two if if I'm feeling it, I really want to um, just do some more social little interaction-y things because sometimes that can help make me feel better when I've had a really bad week is to just kind of do things that are fun and with people and take me out of my brain. Um, so I'm going to like a concert tonight, a metal concert. So I will maybe take video of that because that'll be insane and totally not something I normally would do. Um, and also I'm going thrift store shopping with my mom and my niece and nephew and my sister-in-law this afternoon. So that should be nice. Um, we shall see, and I will keep y'all updated. I'm going to a metal show. We'll try to take video. All right. <laughs> the 
that's the sound of my niece and nephew playing. Um, it is like 1.30 on Booktubeathon day six, five, six, day six. Um, I had a very fun night last night. The metal show ended up being pretty fun. I had a good time and I got home pretty late and I slept in to make up for the staying out late. Um, yeah, the social interaction was much needed. It definitely boosted my mood. Kids playing, you know. Um, I'm about 150, or 150 pages into Sweet Bitter, and I'm still at where I was before on Year of Yes. I still just want to try to finish at least one more book. Um, I'm having kind of a lazy morning afternoon, um, so I'm going to try and maybe read this evening. Um, and we shall see. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. I know I keep saying that, but I'm so, like, insecure about it. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys soon. Those kids are having a party. For the patient, not good for the hospital, not good. I also just realized that I haven't really completed any of the challenges. I've read some books outside, but not like all in one go. I started the Prime of Mr. Jean Brody the night before and finished it the day after, so I didn't read that book in one day. Um, so. <laughs> I want you guys to comment if you feel like a failure at readathons like me. Smash that like button if you feel like a failure at readathons or in life. It is still Booktubeathon day six. And I finished Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes, so I've read two books for Booktubeathon, um, which I'm actually really happy about, and I really loved this book so much. It was so beautiful and validating and really inspirational, um, and it made me cry a lot, and I'm going to talk about it more later, but I just, I really loved it, and I'm really happy that I at least have two books finished, which is my goal. So hopefully I could maybe finish another book tomorrow, on the last day. We shall see. I forgot to do an outfit of the day, so you see me in my pajamas. <laughs> so I'm wearing this thing and athletic shorts. A hey. styling. <laughs> I am now 160 pages into Sweet Bitter, and I just really dislike all the characters. But I feel like that's normal for me when I read sort of books like this, sort of New York, young people in New York books. I tend to dislike all of the characters, so I'm hoping that I start to like them soon. I mean, I'm interested in the story. It's, it's interesting. It's an interesting book, but I really dislike all the characters, so we'll see. I think, though, I'm going to take a break and maybe pick up The Dream Thieves or Nora Ephron's book. Keep making that face. Hello, it is 5 o'clock on Booktubeathon day 7, and I've had such an excellent, excellent reading day. I think part of that is the weather, and it's just a nice, lazy Sunday. Um, I might have to, though, just start doing 24-hour readathons because they're much more my speed. Like, I feel like I get more done reading-wise in 24 hours than I do through an entire week, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I've actually finished a third book, um, and it counted for my or completed my read a book in a day challenge and that is Persepolis um which was on my TBR but I forgot about like halfway through the week like I was like I'm gonna pick this up forgot about it picked it up really enjoyed it it was brutal and beautiful and I'll talk about it more in my wrap up but I really really liked it um and I've been reading On and Off Sweet Bitter <laughs> by Stephanie Danner and also the Dream Thieves by Maggie Seawater, which is the book like that everybody wanted me to read in my TBR video. Shout out to Max, because I know how much Max loves this book, or loves this series. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm about 146 pages into it, and it's actually gone really well. I've tried reading this book before, and I just couldn't get into it. This time around, I've gotten into it. So yeah, I'm excited um, to keep reading, and hopefully finish either Sweet Bitter or The Dream Thieves. We shall see. 
I just very last minute decided to do the bookstagram challenge today or the Instagram challenge today and I'm just so happy with my bookshelf. I really do line my shoes up like that although this one over here this cat is like missing a, a buddy. Um, I just I don't know I like that they're messy and weird and if you guys ever want me to do a bookshelf tour I don't know if people still are into those but maybe I'll do one. Let me know. Apparently during the weekend I don't ever film OTDs, but I'm just literally wearing a band t-shirt that no longer is a band and running shorts. So, and a scrunchie, because I'm stylish. A. It is um, about 9 o'clock on Booktubeathon, day 7, the last day. I'm exactly where I started when I started this vlog last Sunday at midnight. Um, yeah, I just decided that I'm not going to read anymore. Um, I just don't really feel like it. I, I'm, I, I read most of the day and I'm not good at sustained reading. So maybe my, um, maybe I can't do a 24 hour readathon. Maybe I was just kidding about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I read three books. I read Persepolis. I read Miss the Prime of Miss Jean Brody and I read The Year of the Yes, which are three vastly different books. So I like the fact that they were different. I read one nonfiction, one graphic novel and one fiction book. So I'm I'm happy with that. I had a really great time and I got halfway through Sweet Bitter and halfway through The Dream Thieves. So I can finish those up next week, which is cool. Um I'm I like to read lots of books at one time, so this is this is perfect. Yeah, I had a really fun time. I mean, despite a lot of bad mental health stuff that I talked about earlier this week, I enjoyed the experience. I enjoyed participating when I can. I was a lot less intense about it. Than I was last year and I really enjoyed being really intense about it last year but I just couldn't this year and that's okay and it's okay if you couldn't um we all find like we all have our abilities and what we're able to do for various reasons but I had a great time and I think vlogging was just kind of interesting I'm gonna start editing the video tonight and see if I can hobble together something usable and workable if you guys enjoy the vlog please let me know because I've never done anything like this in like the almost four years that I've been on booktube. Actually, I've been on booktube for six years. I have a whole old channel. So the four, the six years I've been on booktube, I've never done anything like this. So please let me know if you guys like it. Um, I, I need validation, y'all. I need some validation in my life. Um, yeah, and I think I'll probably talk about the three books that I read in like a wrap-up video or like some sort of video where I talk about other books that I've read recently. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I had a great time. Let me know how you thought Booktubeathon went. So many questions I have from you. Okay, re recap. Question one, should I do a bookshelf tour? Question two, did you guys enjoy this vlog? Question three, how did Booktubeathon go for you if you participated or if you participated in the Bibliothon, if I'm saying that right, maybe? If you participated in a readathon this past week, let me know how it went. I'd love to know. Anyway, I had a great time. Bye, guys.